Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 275. That is, what is expression coverage? Let me answer. So, what is expression coverage? Before understanding what is expression coverage, we have to first understand what is code coverage. In code coverage, we measure the amount of source code or program code of the software that is tested or executed, okay? So it falls into the white box testing category because here, while measuring the source code of the software that is tested or executed, we can see the code. So it falls into the white box testing category. And because of we measuring the amount of source code or program code of the software that is tested or executed, we can find the gap, okay? We can find the gap in the software where the source code of the software is not tested or executed. That is the areas of the software code that are not executed or tested by the tests, okay? That we can understand here, which areas of the software code have not been covered as part of the code coverage, we can understand. So in order to increase the code coverage, we have to increase the number of tests, okay? So the number of tests that are required for executing the gaps or areas of the software code that are not executed need to be increased. With that, the code coverage will be increased, okay? So to perform this, to perform more tests on the software code to increase the code coverage, there are different techniques. They are called as structured-based test design techniques. So at a high level, test design techniques are categorized into black box test design techniques, then experienced-based test design techniques, and the last one is the structured-based test design techniques. So there are different techniques under this structure-based test design techniques, ways or methods you can also call. They are statement coverage is one structured-based test design technique. Then we have the branch coverage, another test design technique. Then we have the path coverage and condition coverage, which is another structured-based test design technique. So, so under under condition coverage guys, okay? Condition coverage has different names, but this question is all about expression coverage. But why I'm referring to condition coverage? Because the other name for the condition coverage is nothing but the expression coverage only, okay? The other name for condition coverage is, you can also call the condition coverage as expression coverage. If someone is asking you, what is condition coverage? Or if someone is asking you in the interviews, what is expression coverage? The answer is same guys, okay? So either condition coverage or expression coverage, both are same. So what do we do in the condition coverage? We test all the condition expressions in the program, okay? In a program, if there are uh, one or more condition expressions, okay, we have to test all the possible outcomes of the conditions in the condition expressions. So theoretically, you may not understand this statement, but uh, let me explain this practically, guys, okay? Here we have a sample Java code. Here I'm calling the method. This is the Java code, guys. And here I'm calling this method. So when this particular method is called, what's happening is, you see, in this particular method, there is only one condition expression. Only this part is the condition expression. This is only the condition expression, A greater than B and C greater than uh, D, which is inside the circular brackets is the condition expression. But how many condition outcomes are there? There are two condition outcomes. This condition may result in, in a single condition expression, there are multiple condition outputs or outcomes. So this will result in true or false, or this may result in true or false, okay? So how to perform condition coverage or expression coverage? We have to execute, okay? We have to test all the possible outcome conditions in the condition expressions. Here we have only one condition expression in that whatever the possible condition outcomes are there, each and every possible outcome we have to test. So how many combinations will come true, okay? This may result in true. This may also result in true. True, true is one combination. Then true and false. Then false and true. And finally, false and false. Both are false. So how many how many tests are required here? Four tests are required. Okay. In order to in order to test this condition expression having the multiple condition outcomes. Okay. So we have to give four. What if there are one more possible out uh, condition outcome? For example, here there is one more thing like uh, uh, either or or and whatever you can put it here guys okay so let's say there is something like b less than c b less than c okay b less than c so there are three possible condition outcomes now if i have to test this i have to test with a different combination true 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 false true false true false true true like that guys okay like that we can we have to increase the number of condition mostly eight will come eight possible tests will come here 
to uh, complete the condition coverage okay to complete the condition coverage in this example eight outcomes will come okay if there are only two condition outcomes in this condition expression four possible tests will come but it is not compulsory that there will be only one condition expression there can be multiple condition expressions in the program this is only one condition expression right this is only one condition expression but in a program there can be multiple condition expressions having multiple condition outcomes so testing all the condition outcomes with possibilities of true and false combinations is nothing but condition coverage or expression coverage both are same so hope guys you understood what is uh, expression coverage expression coverage in this particular example is four tests four tests that is a if you if you test all the four tests then 100% condition coverage or expression coverage you can say if if you only test a true and false uh, true and true combination there are four combinations right true 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 false false true false false if you only test true true then what is the condition coverage only 1 by 4 that is 25% if if you test true 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 false only two possible conditions okay that means 50% coverage like that expression coverage is 50% in that case but if you test true 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 false false true false false then all the 4 by 4 conditions are covered condition outcomes are condition outcome possibilities are covered then it will be 100% expression coverage or condition coverage okay so this is what is expression coverage guys so that's all for this session in the next session i am going to cover another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye